my name is Joshua Carey, and I am presenting the Christine's Cookies presentation for uh, the Operation Spanish Book Club. Okay, so what we're going to be talking about today is Christine's Cookies. Okay, the concept of Christine's Cookies is that it's a four-hour uh, bakery that's open at night. Uh, we are currently on campus. We uh, serve all different types of cookies, chocolate chip, walnuts, uh, M&M cookies, just to name a few. Uh, we're open at nighttime. Let me say that again. So we're only open for hungry college students at night. And uh, this is just to talk, talk about our whole business concept. So uh, let's just get started. So uh, first we're going to be talking about all the tasks being performed in the uh, bakery. So we're going to be taking orders through the campus email. So if you're a student on campus, you can submit your order or whatever you want. Uh, it's going to be very personalized and uh, you'll be able to put your order in through the campus email. And we'll have it the regular time it takes to send the email. Uh, we also have to preheat the oven, wash out the electric mixer and beaters. Uh, we got to mix dough and ingredients in the tray along with spooning the cookies on the tray putting the cookies in the oven to bake, letting the cookies cool, and also packaging and accepting payments. So those are all the tasks that will be performed in this company. Uh, the goals for the company, uh, producing fresh cookies for every customer. Uh, we promise all of our customers that cookies will be made fresh to order. So we won't make cookies until you order them. So however many cookies that you order, we will cook them and they'll be ready as soon as we can get them out of the oven nice and fresh. So also being efficient and producing cookies in under an hour, that's our goal, producing cookies in under an hour. Uh, having a certain volume of how many people we want to serve, that means uh, how many people we want to get in an hour because we're only open for four hours. So how many people we can get in an hour or how many people can we get for that night? And we want to at least meet that number or exceed it. Now, selling cookies at the best price for both customers and employees benefits. When I say that cookies to be at the best price for both customers and employees, that means we're making a good profit, but also the customers are getting a good price for the cookies. And then making the best quality cookie by the dozen again, as I was saying, we're going to produce fresh cookies for all of our customers and there are made to order. So our last one is just, you know, our last goal for this company is just making the best quality cookie for uh, various college students. Now, how the cookies will be sold. We are going to mainly sell them by the dozen, but we also are going to sell them in multiples of three because some people, you know, don't really need 12 cookies, but three cookies, I mean, you know, I feel like we can make more profit if we put more quantities of how the cookies are, can be sold. So we're gonna sell them in multiples of three. So three cookies will be 150. Also the chocolate chips are regular price. So the standard cookie is regular price, but the ones with candy and the more personalized cookies, they're actually 50 cent more. So if you got three M&M cookies, they'll be $2 and so on and so on. The price keeps doubling. So for six cookies, it would be double 150. So it'd be $3 and then 350 and so on and so on. So we are still selling cookies by the dozen, a dozen, a dozen uh, cookies are eight and 850. So that's how we would sell them. But we also are selling them in multiples of three. So we can, you know, attract more people because just selling them by the dozen uh, people, I feel like we'll have more customers if we sell them by quantities of three. Uh, equipment to buy. Uh, for starters, we need to invest in another oven so we can produce a double than what we plan to produce. If we have another oven, we can double the orders, double the revenue. It might, it is double the time to keep both ovens clean, but we do have two people. So we can, I feel like me and my roommate can manage that. We also need cookie pans, uh, kitchen software, uh, towels and cleaning utensils because we are a clean establishment, baking utensils, the necessary ingredients. And we also need somewhere to store the dough because we just can't have the dough sitting out because 
you know, we're gonna have a lot of cookie orders and we need frozen dough. So we need somewhere to store them, okay? The questions to answer, uh, how would you take care of a rush order? Okay, so first off, rush orders are prioritized, but how they work at Kristen's Cookies, you would have to either set them in the daytime or, now if you set them in the daytime, it won't be a fee, but if you set it during our office hours and you wanted to, you know, be so prioritized and ready in under an hour or before even the hour is complete or even 30 minutes, well, we will charge you a fee, but it, it's a reasonable be about a 150 fee. Uh, if rush orders are made, people will also have to know, let us know what time they plan to pick it up to, to consider if it's a rush or, order or not. But uh, all rush hour, rush or all rush orders should be made during the day so that we can have them when we first open. Okay, uh, how many orders can you fill in a night? Assuming you are open four hours each night. Okay, so being open four hours each night, I would say that the least orders that we can do is five. So if we try to fit five orders in one hour and times that by four, we will have twenty hours by closing or more. But at least twenty. I feel like 20 is a great start to uh, for college students because uh, if you open five days a week and you do 20 orders, that's 100 orders each weekend. With the prices that you're multiplying, that's multiplied by 100. So we would at least try to get 20 orders every night, uh, but at least five hours, I mean five orders each hour. <clears throat> Uh, how much of your own and your own's roommate, how much of your own and your roommate's valuable time will be take to fill each order? Okay, well, it does take time to make money. So uh, we would start two hours before opening, one to preheat the oven and one to make sure all of our utensils, pans, everything that we need to make the cookies is laid out and prepared for us. Uh, so we would start two hours before opening, but it would be a lot of time, probably two hours after, so we can clean up everything and make sure everything is ready for the next night. So we won't have to come in and, you know, clean up yesterday's mess. Instead, we stay over after and, you know, clean it, and then we'll be ready for the next day even more. Uh, because your baking trays can hold exactly one dozen cookies, you will produce and sell cookies by the dozen. Should you give any discount for people who order two dozen cookies, three dozen cookies or more? If so, how much will it take you any longer to fill a two dozen cookie order than a one cookie dozen order? Okay, so Christmas cookies will, will automatically start discounting the prices at three dozen. We will only do discounted prices for catering or party sizes, but we will start it at the three dozen. So... Uh, if you get three dozen cookies, that's 36. We will probably take off, okay, 36, that's about $30. So we would probably take off that $5 and we will make it about 25 plus tax. But uh, the more cookies you order, you can get a percentage discount of how much you order. So it depends on how much cookies you order uh, on whether you'll get a discount or not. Okay, uh, how many electric mixers and baking trays will we need? Okay, so we need an electric mixer for every flavor to avoid contamination because people do have food allergies and we are dealing with things that contains walnuts. So we have to have at least one bowl for each flavor. And as far as baking trays, I would say at least seven. So we can already have trays prepped for when they're ready to go in the oven and we we'll just have enough trays. So I would say at least seven or more, but we should start off with at least seven trays. Three to be prepped, three that can go, three that can go in the oven, and one just for emergency uh, emergencies. Uh, are there any changes you can make in your production plans that will allow you to make better cookies or more cookies in less time or at a lower cost. For example, is there a bottleneck operation in your production process that you can expand cheaply? Uh, as I mentioned earlier, we would like to invest in getting another oven because if we double the oven, we can double the orders and double the revenue. Uh, as far as taking orders, uh, 
Let's see, it says, how would you be able to be willing to pay to pay to rent an additional oven? Uh, We would try to go as cheaply as possible. Instead of maybe renting another oven, we can probably ask somebody else, one of our, uh, somebody else in another dorm that has their oven, and we can just make a deal with them, maybe a deal for discounted cookies or free cookies. But the cheapest way possible is not to rent another oven until we get started and get the ball rolling. Instead, trying to find other avenues and other options of how we can cook more cookies and also stay in that uh, good environment, or that school environment. Okay, uh, what happens if you are trying to do this by yourself without your roommate? Uh, what we, what I could do is uh, either cutting the volume in half so I can be able to manage it because I don't want to put too much on myself or or just uh, try to find another partner that would love to go into business with me. Uh, should you offer special rates for your rush order? Suppose you put a tray of cookies into the oven and someone calls up with a crash priority order for a dozen cookies of a different flavor. Can you fill the priority order while still fulfilling the order for the cookies that are already in the oven? If not, how much of a premium should you charge for filling the rush order? Uh, it would de probably depend on the customer's loyalty because we are on a school campus, so most of your customers you will know, but it depends on how bad they need the cookies or when they need the cookies by, on how much the premium will be. But like I said, all special orders and rush orders should be placed in the daytime to avoid, uh, avoid a fee. But something like this situation that I just read off, a fee will be applied. It wouldn't be the most that the order fee would probably be is $2, but it wouldn't be more than that just because of the priority fee. Uh, when should you promise delivery and how and how can you look quickly at your order board uh, and tell a caller when his or her order will be ready? Okay, so... Uh, what we do at Kristen's Cookies, we will have the, once we put the cookies in the oven and we know the exact time of when the cookies will get out and plus the extra five minutes to package them and, and everything, we will notify you as soon as the cookies are in the oven. So we will notify you saying, uh, we promise if your order is at 4.55, uh, we will promise that your cookies will be done, let's see, 4.55 plus 10 minutes to cook, that's 5.05, we promise that your cookies will be ready by 5.15 at the latest. So with all that considered information, once the cookies timer starts and the cookies start baking, that's when we will promise you what time your delivery will be ready. Okay, what other factors should you consider at this stage of planning your business? Uh, competitors, for one, because just because we're selling cookies don't mean that we're not gonna have competitors. Some people could be selling chips or donuts or cupcakes. So we do have competitors. We might have competitors. And uh, we do have to look out for them because uh, you never know who wants to start their own you know, company of what they can make. Uh, being open more than four hours a night, I would say that we would try to, be, try to get open at least six hours, at least six, so we can, uh, you know, take more orders and also fulfill more orders. And also how much money is going to be spent. Uh, we did talk about investing in the oven, but we want to go as cheap as possibly. Maybe, not even maybe, but we do, we would like to go the free route. So just how much money is going to be spent, that is a very important, uh, very important factor when uh, planning your business. Okay. Uh, Cool. Number five, your product must be made to order because each order is potentially unique. If you decide to sell standard cookies instead, how should you change the production system? Okay, so if we just started making a standard cookie without all the other flavors, it would just be a continuous process because it wouldn't be no specialization in going into the cookies. You wouldn't have to fulfill a special order or a special need just making a standard cookie, you're just making a standard cookie and you're doing it order by order by order. So it would be a continuous and repetitive process of how we make the standard cookie. Uh, other policies, uh, I don't see any other policies, 
but uh, the production system will be changed into a continuous process because we will be making the same cookie over and over and over and over. Okay, would the business be profitable? Okay, with the prices and quantities being how they're being, I think the business would be profitable if we managed our hours better and our schedules. The way things are now, I think six to seven hours would be better than four and we can make more money as well. Okay, so that's my presentation on Kristen's Cookies. Overall, I feel like this business will uh, have a rough start at first, but then uh, but then uh, we will flourish because uh, we're so invested in it and we want to make cookies. Uh, we will also make adjustments as we go. Uh, we will also take surveys on how our customers like the cookies or like our business or what we can do to improve our businesses. Well, our business, I'm sorry, how to improve our business. But uh, that's pretty much it on Kristen's Cookies. I hope you enjoyed the business concept. Thank you and goodbye.